Hi, Mike Crop Hunter here, and I've got another question from one of my subscribers, and uh, I should talk a little bit about the revolving nose pieces. That's this part of the microscope where you have the objectives connected, and different microscopes allow you to connect a different number of objectives. So, for example, this one over here has three objectives connected. Then my Olympus microscope here has uh, can connect five objectives, and I have a second uh, microscope from Olympus which is able to connect four objectives. But before I talk about about the number of objectives is one interesting thing that uh, maybe not many of you have realized. Um, this microscope here, for example, has the objectives pointing away from the user, away from the uh, person, from the microscopist. So this was actually one of the marketing features that I remember that uh, they used to advertise the microscope when I bought this over 20 years ago. Because what they said is, is that this uh, gives the person using the microscope more space and more freedom to work um, on the stage of the microscope because all of the objectives that are not used are pointing away. Just in comparison to this one here, you see that when you're sitting here, yeah, then you have the objectives pointing towards you and kind of this kind of takes away some space working. Oh, that's really a, I would say, a total side issue in my view. But I just wanted to tell you that this is also one of the aspects that, uh, yeah, is sometimes considered when uh, when dealing with microscopes. Okay, so that is uh, basically uh, the thing here. Um, which one, of course, what's best? How many objectives uh, or how big should your revolving nose piece be? Well. Um, it's always a question of cost, of course. Um, the more expensive microscopes allow you to connect more objectives, of course. Um, objectives cost money and also the nose piece, the revolving nose piece has to be larger, making the whole microscope larger. And, and usually very low end microscopes like this introductory microscope here is, is gonna be fine with uh, three objectives and yeah, it's, it's perfectly okay. Um, so it depends a little bit on what uh, your personal um, yeah, observation interests are and in what magnification range you want uh, to work um, on. I just wanted to give you an example why I configured my microscope the way I've done here um, and then you can make uh, sense of it and you can make of this information whatever you want. Um, so I've uh, placed an emphasis specifically on the lower magnifications okay because I like to observe water samples and there are the, the, the organisms that are in there are generally quite large so you don't need a lot of uh, magnification. So what I have is, is I've got a four times magnifying objective well pretty much any microscope has to have that. Uh, Ten times is also very common and then I have a 20 times magnifying objective um, and uh, most uh, microscopes do not have that but they often jump directly to 40 times that's the next one and I also have a 60 times magnifying objective which is also not so common because what you find very often is, is that the attach is so-called 100 times oil immersion objective because this gives you the maximum magnification I personally think that there is a marketing reason behind that because this way it's easier to sell microscopes with a very large magnification and then you can go up to I think unrealistically high magnifications this way. I personally do not consider the oil immersion very useful for the observation things that I'm for the things that I'm observing at least. But there are other people who really use it on an everyday basis because they have uh, different observation interests. So um, yeah, it's, it really depends a lot. And I'm just saying that I have disconnected my 100 times oil and in inserted a 60 times, um, and that's a little bit a slight criticism. Also a little bit on this microscope here. It's not a criticism. It's a pity really. I mean uh, the, the the company made uh, uh, six objectives from that series, but I'm only able to fit five, okay? Only five, so to say. Yeah? Um, it would have been nice if uh, I could have actually included the full uh, full range of objectives as well. But again, that's a little bit of a side issue. If I want to use other objectives, I simply have to unscrew those and have to exchange them and it also works, okay? So that is uh, one thing. Um, yeah, and uh, on my other microscope uh, that I have, I, the other one I set up specifically for phase contrast, uh, it's able to accept four objectives and what I have is I have four times um, a bright field objective, a regular one, then I have a 10 times bright field objective, a regular one, a 10 times uh, phase contrast objective and a 40 times phase contrast objective. Okay, so this is uh, basically the observation uh, range that I'm operating in. So it's a 10 times and a 40 times phase contrast. Um, so you see that it's uh, two times a 10 times, one bright field, one phase contrast. You see it's not always uh, um, like this that you have increasing magnitude. Magnifications. It depends really what what you want. Now, um, if you want to um, have different magnifications, in, as I mentioned, you can exchange them. Um, however, when you buy yourself now a um, an objective, a, a new or 
used objective of the same um, yeah standard so usually usually it's a 160 millimeter standard you know that because the the number 160 is printed on them you can exchange them okay and they will fit uh, however you have to be aware that uh, but when you change the objectives around or yeah switch the, the magnification and you have to you might have to refocus okay because uh, while they might fit they might not be par focal this means that you might lose focus um, so it's only yeah you got to have a little bit of experience um, one other possibility is of course uh, that you buy yourself a completely new series of objectives um, and if you want to do that uh, then I can recommend that you visit uh, aliexpress.com uh, that is uh, a Chinese uh, retail company almost like eBay it's not a, it's not an auction site but you can uh, buy um, yeah all sorts of things there and I saw that uh, they sell objectives very cheaply there and as a matter of fact I think even the same objectives that you can find on many microscopes that you can buy here in Europe and also in the United States because let's face it the microscopes are pretty much all of them manufactured in China anyway so if you for whatever reason end up damaging your objectives or you want to switch over to a, yeah, a new series for whatever reason um, then you can do that and you can import the objectives relatively cheaply from AliExpress I've not done this myself yet I have to admit uh, but I've seen that it's possible so that is uh, simply one of the things yeah if you want to uh, mount new objectives there is this uh, kind of rule that uh, you have um, you have to rotate the revolving nose piece in a clockwise way to increase the magnification that's yeah also a question of taste I guess but for whatever reason this uh, for whatever reason this seems to be also some kind of a standard so if you want to exchange them just to make sure that they're connected that you have to rotate in a clockwise way and then you increase the magnification yeah so and that is pretty much it uh, so when you want to buy a microscope then simply also be aware that uh, this might be an, an additional thing that you might want to take into consideration is, is uh, how many objectives do you want to connect um, and uh, this kind of also um, is something that you might uh, consider a little bit in any case, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. And leave your comments, please. Uh, and uh, if you have any further questions, also please subscribe to the channel if you want to keep yourself updated a little bit. I want to upload the videos relatively regularly. At least right now, it's still possible for me to do that. Uh, and uh, if you ask questions, I'll try to respond using a, an ad hoc video. And uh, yeah, wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. And uh, see you again. See you again next time. Bye-bye.